hey guys welcome to yet another video in this video we are going to see about the renewable energy stocks that are available in our indian stock market and seven stocks that i have selected uh, which are going to give a long term return so without any further delay let's get started but before that make sure you are subscribed to the channel click the bell icon and select all for instant notifications this is the third sectoral analysis video i have done and the past two videos link has been given in description and in i button so we all know what a renewable energy is uh, anything other than petroleum products natural gas coal etc that can generate power are called renewable energy and india is one of the top countries that are switching to renewable energy very fastly and in last 5 years we have grown grown up about uh, 18 percentage and uh, we are uh, mainly focusing on solar power and uh, the present capacity of energy is about uh, 106 gigawatts and we are planning to reach by 450 gigawatts in 2030 and out of which uh, 60 percentage will be solar but to reach this 450 gigawatt by 2030 the government need to make some measures uh, that can contribute to this uh, renewable energy industry so in the coming budget or in the coming years budgets uh, they may announce some uh, good remedies or uh, good incentives for uh, renewable energy sectors so we can see a good development in the renewable energy stocks that are available in our stock market so let's now see the list of stocks that are available in our stock market so i have found about 32 stocks that are uh, coming under renewable energy stocks and uh, these are the market share uh, adani taking a huge market share and then followed by ntpc tata power adani transmissions uh, siemens jsw energy etc but uh, we cannot trade all these stocks and or we cannot buy all these stocks uh, so we have to select some stocks based on uh, some criteria so this sector is not for short term and so i'm not going to use any uh, technical analysis here i'm just going to do a very very basic uh, fundamental analysis that can give good returns so we are going to select some stocks based on the fundamentals so i have categorized into four categories and then we will select the top 10 among the four categories and then we can segregate uh, seven stocks that can give good returns so the first category is uh, pe ratio pe ratio for a company should always be in the lower side so the top companies in the lower side of pe ratios are mentioned there as you can see we can select these kind of stocks which are trading at a lower pe ratio and the next one is uh, book value uh, the book value of the company should always be greater than the current value of the company so we can see something like uh, here 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 we can select these stocks and the next category is uh, return on equity versus return on capital employed uh, both should be good for a company uh, both should be in a positive trend and uh, for which uh, these stocks can be used so the next category is uh, promoter shareholding pattern the higher the promoter hold the shares uh, it is good for the company so if you see it is in a increasing order it is uh, increasing from here to here so we can select this last set of stocks uh, that are good in promoter shareholding patterns so these are the top 10 picks in each category that i have shown i have also included the market cap because uh, the market cap can play a good role too so out of which we have to select seven stocks and i have selected those seven stocks these are the seven stocks that i have highlighted uh, why i selected these seven stocks will be explained next uh let us see one by one the first stock is going to be ntpc uh ntpc has a market capital of about uh, 130 crores and it is currently trading at a price of 134 for which the book value is also 134 which is a good sign and uh, the pe ratio of the company is also low uh, they are giving a dividend of about 4.5 percentage yearly and the face value of this company is 10 so even if they are going to split in the future also it is good the return on equity for the company is 12.6 and the return on capital employed is 8.7 
so in the past one year it has yielded about uh, 42.6 percentage and uh, the debt for the company is about uh, 2 lakh but still they are earning at uh, 14,000 crores per year so this is a well established company and uh, we may not uh, worry about the debt they are holding so the promoter holding is about 51.1 percentage which is also a good sign for the company so the next stock is uh, Siemens Limited this has a market capital of about uh, 83,000 gross and it is currently trading at uh, 2,344 the book value is 291 which is not so looking good and the PE ratio is also slightly high uh, but the return of equity and uh, return on uh, capital employee is looking good and in the past one year it has yielded about uh, 41 percentage the face value is 2 so we can have only one split further and the uh, depth for the company is only 4 crores and uh, they are earning in 1100 crores per year so the promoter holding is also 75 percentage which is a good sign uh, they, they are uh, very low in uh, debt so this is going to be a good stock to invest the next stock is indian energy exchange uh, this has a capital of about 22,000 crores and the currently it is trading at uh, 252 rupees the book value is 7 rupees uh, but this is not to be worried uh, since this is an energy exchange uh, and it is not like other stocks the p is also on the greater side but uh, the return on equity return on capital employed is uh, huge so we don't have to worry about anything else and in the past one year it has given about uh, 224 percentage returns it has debt of about only 11 crores and uh, they are earning 213 crores per year the next stock is kp energy it has a market capital of about 390 crores and it is currently trading at a price of 351 and the return on equity for this stock is 9.87 and the return on capital employed is 16.2 percentage however the book value is much lower and the stock P is also in the medium range but one year return for this company is about 428 percentage which is a huge huge amount and the promoters are holding about 67 percentage of the company shares which is a good sign and the debt is about only 35 crores and they are earning 6 crores per year the face value is 10 rupees we can expect split in the future if it is uh, stock price is going very higher the earning per share for this stock is about 13.6 rupees this is a good stock to invest but uh, still whatever the stock i mentioned they are not a call and i am not a sebi registered advisor please do make your own analysis before investing the next stock is about uh, zodiac energy this stock has a market capital of about 182 crores the book value is around 19 rupees while the current price of the stock is around 124 rupees uh, but still the return on equity is 17.4 percentage return on capital is uh, 20 percentage and in the past one year it has given about uh, 782 percentage returns which is a huge huge sum and among the seven stocks that i have mentioned this is the highest return so their debt is about only 12.5 crores and uh, their annual profit is around 4.5 crores so the promoter is holding about 73 percentage of their shares and uh, one more point to be added even in this uh, bearish market it has giving a upper circuit of about uh, 5 percentage uh, each day so if there is a chance to enter i may enter but you do your own analysis before entering this stock or uh, whatever the stock i mentioned the next stock is uh, Repsol Energy System. It has a market capital of about uh, 513 crores and it is currently trading at uh, 140 rupees. The book value is around uh, 57 rupees and the uh, PE is around 63.5. The return on equity is 10 percentage while the return on capital is 12 percentage and it has given a return of about uh, 216 percentage in past one year and they have a debt of about only 28 crores and uh, their earning is around uh, 68 crores per year so the promoters are holding only 25.4 percentage that is the only drawback for this uh, stock in my opinion uh, if you find any other drawbacks uh, please do comment below the next stock is uh, borosil renewables this stock has a market capital of about uh, 8350 crores and is currently trading at uh, 641 rupees 
the book value is around 53 rupees while the stock p is around uh, 55.2 the return on equity is good around uh, 19 percentage and the return on capital employed is 28 percentage so in past one year it has given about 151 crores and uh, their debt is around uh, 71.3 crores but their uh, income is uh, 89.6 crores so the debt is uh, lesser than the annual income so we know we don't have to worry about it much so the promoters are holding it about uh, 62 percentage which is a good sign so these are the seven stocks that are looking good for me in the renewable energy sector for the long term uh, these stocks are not for short term uh, you, you have to be stay invested at least uh, one or two years to get uh, good returns in these kind of companies that's it for this video guys let me catch up tomorrow with the daily video please make sure you are subscribed to the channel like this video share it with your friends and please do comment what we can improve thank you